Hey, how's it going guys? Uh, for some reason I woke up this morning and decided, well, I may as well just go ahead and show all my comics the last week instead of waiting until later in the day. And I was kind of looking at what comes out of Midtown Comics this week and there's really not a lot I'm going to go to my local shop and pick up this week. So I figured I'd just go ahead and knock this video out uh, this morning instead of wait till later. Um, that way I can do a live video later maybe on uh, what I talked about last week. But anyway, first I want to knock out my, uh, read my comics tag. This week I read Daredevil Born Again. Uh, full disclosure, it's actually, I've read this before, but it's actually been like 15-ish years. Whenever this volume originally came out, it's been a while. Uh, nonetheless, I was uh, looking at my Marvel Unlimited app, and this is one of the featured stories. I'm like, ah, I might read the first issue of that. I ended up just sitting down and binge reading the whole thing like a Netflix show, basically. Uh, I got sucked back into it. Um, but absolutely pick this up if you have not read this. Like, if you like the old Frank Miller 80s stuff, like uh, Dark Knight Returns, uh, that type of stuff, The Sim City. Or Cincy, geez. Sorry. Like I said, morning, not evening. <laughs> um, anyway, um, this is an absolute must read if you're an 80s Frank Miller fan. Basically what happens in it is Karen Page um, trades the identity of Daredevil for a drug fix. And a this Cretan who gets Daredevil's identity, of course he's going to sell it to Wilson Fisk, Kingpin. Uh, because he's going to give him a lot of money for it. So more or less that happens. Uh, instead of Kingpin just striking directly to uh, Matt Murdock, what he does is he gets his credit cards froze, he messes up his mortgage, uh, he messes up his whole law firm, he gets him disbarred basically. Um, he More or less by the end of like the second issue, Matt Murdock's homeless and beaten down and um, just seeing Matt Murdock and you know even Foggy Nelson's involved in the story and Karen Page um, just seeing those characters have to rise up uh, from the very bottom and figure out how to combat the kingpin and all that. I mean, it is an absolutely must read. I forgot how awesome this book was. Um, so absolutely check this out. Uh, five out of five stars if I have to make a star ranking thing. Uh, check it out. But anyway, I'll get into the comics. Um, so first off, uh, Saturday is a Memorial Day sale for Half Price Books. Uh, once again, half off everything I had, and considering how everything I had is cheap, <laughs> so, uh, more or less all these books were 50 cents. Uh, so the first book, Alpha Flight 88, I just picked it up for Jim Lee art. So as you can see, it even has this cover for Wolverine down there. Uh, so who can pass up 50 cents Jim Lee comics? Uh, next up, we got Deathstroke Terminator number 15. This is the first appearance of Rose Wilson, uh, Ravager, who is his daughter. So... Love her character in the Teen Titans in the mid-2000s, uh, so I had to pick this up. Uh, this next book I haven't heard of and haven't read yet, so I'm not entirely sure what it is, but I really like the Darwin Cook cover. It's called Bad Girls, uh, number one. I'm guessing, yeah, it looks like this came out in 2003, so I'll definitely be flipping through this and seeing what that's all about, but who can pass up a cool Darwin Cook cover? Uh, next up, I've got a few run fillers for the Ed Brubaker Captain America run. Uh, so, Captain America number 7, like I said, it's from that uh, first run of Ed Brubaker, Captain America. Uh, next up, issue 15. And if you guys haven't read this run, absolutely check it out. They have it, uh, omnibuses, trades, all that good stuff. And then there's number 19. And then next up, I, for 50 cents, I know there's like a talks of a movie or TV show or something. So I'm like, eh, why not pick this up finally for 50 cents? It kept taunting me in the bins. Uh, Eternals number 1. This thing's kind of beat up, uh, but whatever, 50 cents. Figured why not pick it up. And then the last one I picked up from Half Price Books, I uh, got this uh, New 52 Green Lantern issue 50. Looks like a Bill Sienkiewicz cover. I don't know if this is a regular or a variant cover. Uh, I didn't collect Green Lantern after Jeff Johns left, but I figured why not for that nice cover I'll get it for 50 cents considering it was a $5 book. 90% uh, off cover price, can't beat that. Uh, so that was my half price books. Next up, I went to a flea market with my family in Louisville on Monday, which is a Memorial Day. I actually had that day off too, but I spent most of it in a car. Uh, but nonetheless, I got a few good finds. So I, going back to Daredevil Born Again, I actually found a couple $2 copies from that run. So this is 231, which I believe is the next to last issue of that run. And then 232, which this might be the first appearance of Nuke. I can't remember exactly. Um, but I think this is the first appearance of Nuke, which is also in that run, so 
I said I had Daredevil Born Again on the brain when I went in uh, flipping through bins. And of course, once I saw it, I had to make sure I picked those up. I think the rest was a... I think the entire rest of this stack was a dollar uh, per book. So first one I found was Sandman 50 in the dollar bins. Uh, so who can't, you know, who could pass up Sandman for a dollar? I can't. So I thought that was a cool cover for issue 50. Didn't have it yet. So pick that up. Like I said, run filler. Um, and I was surprised to see these in the dollar bin just because a lot of people have been buying up these uh, Life Felt New Mutants. And I have most of the other New Mutants. I just hadn't collected these Liefeld ones yet. Uh, but for a dollar, I thought the price is right. So there's New Mutants 91. Early cable appearance, obviously. So uh, happy to have that for a dollar. Like I said, a lot, of, a lot of these books have started to skyrocket lately with you know Deadpool 2 coming on the scene. Uh, there's number 92. Of course, 93. And 94. I think I have everything else up until 100, including 98. So I think the only main book left I have in this whole run is 87. First appearance of Cable, obviously. And then I did find this. Uh, New Mutants number 6, or the annual number 6. First appearance of Shatterstar for a dollar. Um, like I said, I'm very, I was very happy to find this for a buck. Um, seeing it go online for... Definitely ten dollars, twenty dollars. So for a buck, couldn't pass that up. Uh, and then I just got some random covers I liked of stuff I didn't have already. Um, Uncanny two thirty. So this was a Mark Silvestri cover. So big Mark Silvestri fan. So I had to get this just because I didn't have it already. Uh, oh yeah, and then I found a Web of Spider Man ninety seven. Was that a first appearance of Night Watch? I think something like that. Uh, supposed to be a movie of him coming out. So dollar for this. Why not? And it's actually, a lot of these uh, books were not bagged previously, so I was very surprised that, you know, I bagged them myself, but they're, most of them were in pretty dang good condition for being uh, unbagged in a box for who knows how long. Uh, next up, Web of Spider-Man 33, awesome Bill Sienkiewicz cover. Um, I was actually looking for the Mike Zek covers. I think he does the next few on Web of Spider-Man, but saw this, I was like, wow, that's an awesome cover, so I picked it up. Next up, Uncanny 247, another Sylvester cover. This one's a little bit more rough shape than the other ones, uh, but still pretty nice cover. Not too bad. Uh, Uncanny 249 from that Sylvester run. It's pretty awesome there. Wolverine 32. Yep, another Sylvester. Surprised I didn't have this one already. I thought I did, but I didn't, so I got it for a dollar. Then the last one I got from there, Jim Lee cover, Uncanny 261. So, like I said, these Sylvester and Jim Lee art X-Men, you can't pass them up when you can see them for uh, 50 cents. Next up, I got, or I'm sorry, a dollar. Uh, next up, I got an eBay haul. Just one book, actually. It was, well, it was supposed to be one book, but the seller actually threw in this Fantastic Four 252. I guess just to protect the cover of this book. So, thank you, e random eBay seller. Really much appreciate it. And a pretty cool landscape cover there. Uh, but I did get, finally got, Savage She-Hulk number one for a semi-affordable price. I think I paid 20 bucks shipped. Uh, so this thing, I, it, it just keeps going up and up. Like it's upwards of like 40, 50 bucks now it looks like on eBay. Uh, so when I saw Buy It Now go up for 20 bucks shipped, I hopped all over that. I didn't even hesitate. So very happy to finally get an affordable copy of this. It's a decent copy. Like I said, there's not, not a lot going on with the spine, which is good. It looks like there's a spine roll, but the staples are actually like on the edges, so don't know how that happened or why. Uh, of course, it's a new stand too. The only thing that's really wrong with it is it looks like there's a little bit of staining from something there. And if you look on the tops and bottoms of the book, there's like this like black smudge on the top and bottom for some reason. But the rest of the book presents pretty well for 20 bucks for Sab She Hulk one. Could not pass that up. I've been looking for this for a while, so happy to have that. Oh, and actually, I did have a uh, like a local thrift shop. Uh, I went in there looking for some WaveBird controllers for the GameCube that this guy had behind the counter and not price. So went to ask him about the price. Said he had to clean them up first. Said he'd call me back, see what he wanted to do with them. Uh, but I also noticed, a, like maybe eight or nine months ago, I went looking for this book right here. Um, one price, like a lot of stuff in there for some reason. So the person's like. Uh, have to call the buyer, buyer to pick up. So like, all right, I can't sell it to you. Sorry. 
Uh, so I decided to check back. It wasn't there. Uh, but somehow I went looking for these waivers. This thing was sitting on top of the counter from when the person sat there nine months ago and no one ever followed up on it until I came in and followed up on it. So luckily the, uh, the other shop was there. I'm like, I think that's the comic book I tried to buy like nine months ago. How much you want for it? He's like, well, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. How about four bucks? Um, and actually, came, I don't even know where it's at here in this deck. It came with that uh, All-Star Superman someone won in my contest. It was like that Sears giveaway. So I actually got two books for four bucks. Uh, but I've already showed that book technically before. But I got Superman 423 for four bucks. Pretty good condition, actually, for that price. Um, so I was extremely happy to have this. The last Silver Age Superman story from Alan Moore. And you got Kurt Swan and George Perez on the art. Um, Hopefully I can find the rest of the run, because I think there was uh, Action Comics that was like part two, basically. Uh, but I absolutely love this like last Silver Age Superman story. It's really awesome. I have it in a collection over there. Uh, but this is one also like Savage Shield. Like, I've been looking for this book for quite a while. I'd find it for, you know, I'm just going to say four bucks. The other book is free. I didn't care about it. Uh, four bucks for this book. Doesn't go for much. That's probably about what well, you can get it for on eBay. But still, four bucks for this book, in my opinion, is a very good price for it. It's an awesome book if you guys see it on the cheap. Definitely get it. Uh, last things I got, uh, these are my eBay, or not eBay, sorry, my auction winnings from the community uh, auction. So the first one is from Alex Comp Quarters Auction. I actually bought this off him. I think it was about $15 ish shipped, maybe. I can't remember right this second. Uh, but it's All Star Comics number 69, first appearance of Huntress. Uh, so very happy to have this book. I had the Origin of Huntress book, that DC Superstars. I think it's. What, 17? Um, absolutely love that book. So after I got that book, well, I was like, well, now I need the first appearance. So luckily Alex had one on his auction. Uh, so thank you, Alex, for selling this for a good price because sometimes getting this for under 20 bucks is a challenge as well. Um, and who knows what they're ever going to do with the Hunter's character, but they're bound to do something eventually again. Uh, so happy to have this. Wanted to get it before the price went up a little bit more. And then a couple weeks ago on the Great Legend Show auction, uh, I won a five book lot. I think it was 40 bucks shipped uh, from the amazing Murphinator. So they just showed up at my doorstep. Uh, that's why it convinced me to make the video this morning instead of later. I heard those books hit my door. Uh, I was happy because I knew what it was. So five book lot here. Got Avengers 150. It's a pretty cool cover there. I don't have a lot of older Avengers books. I just, for whatever reason, I don't know all the ones to collect from that first run. So. Starting to collect those a little bit. Uh, Captain America and Falcon 176. Same thing for Cap. Been wanting to start collecting these older Marvel books more. Um, so I thought that was a cool addition. And these are kind of throw-ins for the Iron Man book. I'll show here in a second. But I got Iron Man 304, which is an awesome cover versus Thor. Uh, so I thought that was really nice. And then Iron Man 305 with him fighting Hulk, which who doesn't love that? Always a great battle between those two. But the main book I wanted was... Uh, the Demon in the Ball cover, Iron Man 128. So like I said, this is another one of those covers I've been looking for for a while. I had the one before that actually got signed by Bob Layton at Indiana Comic Con. <clears throat> uh, so I definitely need to add this to my collection, so now I'm happy to have that. Uh, but other than that, that is my whole haul for just one week. <laughs> like I said, I need to have one of them purges everyone has eventually and clear up some room in my collection so I can make room for these better books I've been getting. Uh, but once again, thanks for watching. Uh, leave some thumbs, I guess. Um, so, uh, other than that, thank you guys so much. I think I'm up to a little under 170 subs, so thank you guys for hitting that sub button. If this is your first time watching, please go ahead and hit it. And then the last plug I want to do is for the Magnificent Seven coming up. this Friday, 10 p.m. Eastern. So, there's my horseman fingers. I'm trying to make a gimmick. We'll see what happens. So, ah, there we go. So, catch the 7 on Friday, 10 p.m. All right. You guys have a good day.